Hello and welcome to another video from InPlayTrading.com. I'm going to show you in this video some of the uh, strategies that I employ to add some green to my Betfair account using the scanner. And there's no reason why you can't do the same. This is the scanner page. If you hover the mouse over the figures here, you can see when there has been uh, a stat, which minute it's actually occurred in the game. Shots on target, corners, possession. There's a breakdown box there that you see what's happened in the first half and second half. We've now added a pressure indicator that you can see the possession in the last 10 minutes, the shots in the last 10 minutes. And we've worked out possession divided by five and add 10 for each shot. And it gives you a figure there. Obviously, the higher that figure, the better. So based on this, we're going to... Um, Slovakia look well on top. They've had five shots to one on target. Going to go in and, uh, and back them. Have a little look at the recent form, head to heads. See if we can gauge anything from that. And as we can see, not really a great deal. The Dutch have won two of the last three. The other one has been a draw. So Slovakia are a big price here and um, you know a small back and there's a little bit of insurance we're covering the 1-0 and 1-1 in case the Dutch score first we've now got cover on the 1-0 and 1-1 so really we're covered on all but sort of um, the 0-0, 2-0 uh, and bigger scores. So let's just submit that. The green on these two cover the red on Slovakia in the match odds and with only sort of 20 minutes to go we're in a reasonable position the game has now gone suspended uh, let's see what's happened just go up to the match odds looks, it looks like it's nil one in the game you can tell by the prices that have come back as the market uh, resettles And this would be good for us because we know we've got the 1-1 one, one covered. Um, and you can see that Slovakia have come into 1.38, 1.41. So they have scored. They've gone 0-1. So let's take out the red immediately. Let's leave most of the green on Slovakia. Because they look well on top. They're in charge of the game. We know we've got 1-1 one, one covered for some green there. In case the Dutch score next. And that's how the game finished. Okay, let's have a look at uh, another example from this eye in this game up here. You can see that um, the away side are well on top. The Betfair graphs are there. We've got the breakdown of shots, stats, corners, possession, red cards, you name it. See the pressure indicator there. The higher, the better. The higher, the better shows that they're uh, they're more on top in the game. They've had more shots. And this is what I do. I sit there and I look at these games and sort of spot opportunities where I can jump in. They might be 15 minutes into the game, might be 25 minutes into the game, might be 60 minutes, 65 minutes. We can see that they've had two shots in the last 10 minutes. Possess you to the Betfair game and prices. So Lottie look uh, on top. So we're going to back. Uh, back them at 3.4. Wait for that to get taken. And similar to the last game, just going to cover the 1 0 and 1 1. Because if Akin score first, then your back on Lottie is not looking very likely. But at least if you have 1 0 and 1 1, then you're still in the game. You're looking in a pretty strong position. Game finishes 1 0, you shouldn't lose. Game finishes 1 1, you shouldn't lose. So we submitted that, we're just waiting to get taken. Liquidity isn't great in this game. This 
some of it still to be to be matched so we're just gonna just waiting for it to be um, taken we can see the minutes where there have been shots on target fifty four minutes gone in the game the home side have only had a shot on target in the 14th minute. We've highlighted the game, so we'll hear when there has been a shot on target. We'll hear when there's been a goal. You'll hear applause. Although I've muted the speakers, so you probably won't hear that sound effect. <laughs> and there we go, nil one. 77 minutes gone, another shot on target. The pressure indicator was uh, highly in their favour, you can see, 29 to 11. The higher that figure, the better. And yet again, the scanner comes good, so you see the price has now dropped for Lottie. It's come right down as it would, as they've scored and gone one up. And this is where this scanner comes into its own. You can see all the games in front of you. See where we've backed, where we've been taken, matched. You can see all the games in front of you and you can see instant opportunities rather than have, having to trawl through uh, one of the other sites to, to, to find the stats. And they only list them in an individual game anyway. So, you, you know, it's an absolute nightmare if you're trading more than, more than one game. And with this tool, there's no reason why you can't trade three, four, five, six games at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the red and leave a lot of the green on Lottie. We're going to leave some of the green on the other two results. You know, there's no point in leaving red on there in case, uh, you know, in case they come back, I can come back and score. Which is exactly what they did. They had the next shot on target. 84 minutes gone. So now our 1-1 one, one comes into play. So we've got that covered. But obviously another goal now to Akin wouldn't be good. So what we're going to do is just um, back. Actually we're going to lay under to an half goal. So we got some cover if there is another goal. Now we've got £30 if Akin go on to score again. Obviously our 1-1 one, one covers um, the draw, so giving us a little bit of uh, profit on there. We've got £20 there. So we've got £28 there, which is nice. Obviously, we had a loss on the uh, under two and a half goals. So that's another little example of uh, exactly what to look for. Let's see what else we can find while we're trading tonight. Five more minutes of me droning on. Sorry about that. Looking at Luxembourg and Belarus. see what we can do here in this game it's a Euro 2016 qualifier looking at the head-to-heads Belarus of 1-1 uh, one, one, Luxembourg of 1-1 one, one. the other one was a draw so what we've done is we've laid Luxembourg this is another strategy I use whereby a side is ahead but could well um, lose or draw the game so what we do is we lay that side um, we back the other side um, and we can even throw in a sort of an over two and a half goal back as well so whilst we're doing that we're gonna have a look at uh, gonna have a look at this one no we're not so we can see here the um, the opportunities that uh, Belarus is, uh, are on top in this game even though they're one down So 
So we're going to back over two and a half because obviously if Luxembourg score another goal, then then that traders are obviously dead. So our two and a half will still come in and save us. Looking up uh, the one up here, the Slovenia game. It's nil nil at the moment. See the shots on target, the shots off target. Betfair graphs. So Estonia looks sort of uh, more in control of this game. There are big prices, 7.2. You can see the pressure indicator, 30 to 10. So let's get on and back Estonia. And again, the same. Um, technique, the same strategy, you're backing a side that you are, are on top, but you're covering the nil one and the one one. So that gives you a little bit of insurance in case the other side score. Uh, it's optional to add um, over two and a half as well. Obviously that will reduce your profits, but if you think they're going to be a lot more golds in the game, um, then you can do that. So there we go, it's gone 1-1. One, one. Belarus have come back into the game, so we've got five pounds on the draw. Estonia have scored as well, they're all going in now. So that was a good back. Pressure indicator told us that uh, Estonia were looking good, they were looking stronger. So that was a good back at 7.2. So we're going to green up that, and that was uh, that was quick, easy money made there. And this is all you have to do: you spot opportunities, you jump on, and you should do very well using this tool, which has grown in popularity. Um, I'm going to look to do a new tutorial video um, over the next week or two. Uh, hoping to add email alerts um, and it's um, it's proving very popular um, the members love it all the stats are there in front of you you don't need to be a, a rocket scientist to uh, to use it uh, this particular night I picked up a hundred pounds testing the new pressure indicator and there really is no reason why you can't do the same See the 1.5 market has gone here. We stand to lose five pounds on under two and a half. We won 50, 56 pounds in the Estonia game. And I'll just show you a sort of a, a roundup of um, a buggered up one game, the England game, but that wasn't trading through the scanner. That was my own trading. So, you know, we're looking at about 100 pounds profit for the night just using very simple techniques. And if I can do it, you can do it.